Emma and welcome back to Creature Feature and today I have kind of an unusual little animal because usually when I take these guys to parties a lot of people don't know what kind of animal he is. This you guys is Sal. Hi Sal. And usually when I bring him people go oh he's cool he's a lizard and really cool fact about this little guy Sal is no more a lizard than you are. He is a tiger salamander. Um, a really, really neat little animal. These guys are actually more closely related to frogs than they are lizards or reptiles, and that's because Sal here is an amphibian. So basically, when he was a little baby, much like a frog friend, he was a tadpole. He um, had a long tail, he didn't have arms and legs, and he had gills. And as he got a little bit older, he underwent metamorphosis. So he pretty much transformed, his tail grew longer and became more of a lizard-like tail. He grew limbs, and he grew lungs, and he primarily with some exceptions of salamanders, um, lives on land. These little dudes are called tiger salamanders. You're going to find them all over the southwest. And a really interesting fact about these guys is um, he might seem small by animal standards. Uh, he's actually big for a salamander. Um, many salamanders don't really exceed about the width of my pinky, so they're normally a very, very small little critter. So even this little dude, who, like I said, can easily fit in the palm of my hands, is actually pretty large. That being said, there are some incredibly humongous salamanders out there. Um, most people think of the Chinese and Japanese salamanders. Those guys can get up to five feet long pretty, pretty easily. They're absolutely huge. Um, but even in the North um, North America, we have an, uh, a salamander called the Hellbender, and those guys can get up to about mm, bigger than my arms, about two feet long. So uh, pretty, pretty impressive animal. You're gonna notice with these guys, he's a little bit squishy. And that's because his skin is covered in something called mucous membranes. Much like you and me, amphibians do need water, but they don't drink it like we do. These dudes actually suck it up through their skin. So they usually need to have that skin stay nice and moist or else they cannot drink water. And uh, these little dudes will dehydrate very, very easily. Um, when we talk about amphibians, a lot of people understand frogs. They understand the idea of metamorphosis. However, one thing a lot of people don't understand is, with a few very, very few exceptions, um, one of the big stipulations to being an amphibian is you need to be a carnivore. And the little Sal here um, lives up to that. These little dudes will eat, much like frog friends, pretty much anything they can fit inside their mouth. Um, Sal here eats lots and lots of earthworms, but a large one um, will eat pretty much anything. They'll eat other salamanders. Um, the huge ones have even been known to attempt to attack other people. <laughs> and uh, that's it for creature feature here. This is Sal. Like I said, um, I'm actually super, super fond of the salamanders. Um, I didn't know a lot about them coming into this job. And I didn't know a lot about amphibians in general. And just a uh, really, really fascinating, uh, really cool little animal. One final fact if you're having a hard time figuring out um, if a little thing you see on the ground is a lizard or a salamander, if you look really closely here at Sal's uh, front hands, he only has four. I always say um, with the salamanders, they kind of got the Mickey Mouse glove going on. So he only has uh, four fingers, um, whereas a lizard is going to be like you and me, and they're going to have five. All right, uh, that is it for Creature Feature, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.